Hello everyone and welcome back to another yin yoga routine focusing on the hamstrings, glutes and hips. Because this is yin yoga we're going to hold the poses for about three minutes each but as always if you feel that you need to come out of the pose earlier there's nothing wrong with that. Please feel free to do so especially if you're feeling any pain or extreme discomfort. For the first portion of this class, we'll be sitting on the mat. So as always, you can have a yoga block or a cushion to sit on, and that's gonna make these poses a little bit more accessible should you want that extra little bit of help. So if you are ready to begin, we're going to start seated on the mat, and we're gonna come into a half dragonfly fold. So we'll start by stretching our left leg out long over towards the left. Now just be conscious not to lock this left knee. You can even take a really generous bend into it if you need to. And if your knees are sensitive, feel free to place some blankets or cushions in underneath to help to prop them up. And this goes for the left knee as well. If you need, just roll up a blanket and put it in underneath. And then we're going to take a moment just to find our seat bones. Make sure they're pressing down firmly into whatever you're sitting on. You might be happy just to stay here. I can already feel this stretch within the left hamstring. But if you do want to take it a little bit deeper, we can start to really mindfully walk our hands away from us and then maybe drop the nose down towards the ground. Once you've found a position where you're really feeling that nice stretch within your left hamstring, we can just settle in, finding the breath, inhaling to open up the hamstring, exhaling to release tension. Yin yoga is all about playing our edges, so we're not going really deep into a fold straight away. We're just staying at about 80% of our capacity. And then maybe with time you might get that invitation from your body to go a little bit deeper. And if you receive that invitation, then maybe walk your hands a little bit further away, sink a little bit deeper. Let's take a moment to release the shoulders, relax the jaw, make your face soft. Stay with your breath, with your body as best you can. And then I'll let you know when it's time to come out of this fold. Bringing your awareness back to your body now. If your mind drifted away, that's okay. But let's take it back now. Take three more deep breaths. When you're ready to come back, Push the floor away from you, slowly coming back up. 
Now take as much time as you need here, but when you are ready, you can take a fold back into this left leg. So we're sitting cross-legged on the mat. And then to target our glutes a bit more in this fold, we're gonna stay in this easy pose. And then we're going to very slowly, once again, walk our hands away from us. Palms can be facing down or they can face up. Nose, once again, is migrating towards the ground. But just finding 80% or even less to begin. This time feeling that stretch within the left glute. Keep sending your breath down into the left side of your hip. Stretching that glute, exhaling to get the tension out of your body. And once again, we'll be here for three minutes. If you're finding a little bit of discomfort within your shoulders, you can always rest your arms onto blocks or cushions or a nice pillow if you have one. You might be able to bring the elbows to the ground, but it's not a requirement. Only if your body is inviting you to do so. And I'm going to leave you in silence to enjoy the rest of the pose. Just remember if you catch yourself engaged in thoughts, just try to train yourself to come back to your breath and back to your body. And then I'll let you know when it's time to come up. It's time now to slowly come back. No rush in getting there. When you are ready, we'll repeat on the opposite side. So the left knee will stay bent. This time the right leg stretches out. Supporting yourself with cushions or blocks if needed here or blankets rolled up in underneath the knees. And then when you are ready, you can start to fold forward once again, this time getting acquainted with our right hamstring. And just remembering what happened on one side of the body might not necessarily happen on the other side. So we have to treat this like an entirely new pose. Bringing our awareness down into that right hamstring just seeing how it's responding to the pose. Seeing if we can send our breath in to open it up and use our exhale to release anything that it's holding on to. We 
we were here for three minutes in total, just quietly waiting for those invitations, training our mind to stay with our body and with our breath. Now for our last three breaths here, let's really try bring our awareness down into the light lower body. Sending your breath into whatever part is asking for it the most. And in your own time, bring yourself back up into that straight spine position, setting ourselves up for easy folds, easy pose fold by bending the right knee this time. So finding what works here, making sure both our seat bones are still pressing down. I didn't mention this on the other side, but if you just feel called to stay here, that's absolutely fine. We're still opening up the glutes and the hips, but if you do want to go a little bit further, you can start to mindfully walk your hands away, drop your nose towards the ground. You can really allow gravity and your breath to do all of the work here. Folding yourself into this little cocoon where you're just giving all your energy to your hips, your glutes, your entire pelvic region. And just helping it to release anything that it's holding on to. While we're here, just creating a little bit of space between your teeth, 
making sure you're not clenching your jaw. Your face is smooth. Your breath is deep. We'll take our last three breaths in this pose. And once you're ready to do so, slowly bring yourself back up. Now we can do some windshield wipers here. So we will gently stretch the legs out again. Lean back on your hands. Feet will be about mat width distance apart. And then you can really slowly drop the knees from side to side. And just giving them an opportunity to stretch out again to release any tension that we might have created in those poses. We are also crunched over on our shoulders so you might take this opportunity just to send your shoulders back, open up your chest again. These times of dynamic movement is when our mind can start to drift away again. We kind of lose um, our focus. Our mind just runs out the gate like we've left it open. So let's stay here with the body, with the breath. You can pause the next time that your knees are in center. For the next portion of this routine, we're going to be lying down on our backs. So you can make your way slowly down. And when you're there, just give yourself a moment to lie on the floor. Knees can be bent and resting against each other, or you can have your legs straight. just tap into whatever sensation or energy you're feeling within your body. Find your breath and notice how it feels different in your body now that you're lying on the floor. And from here, we'll come into our next pose, which is half happy baby. So the left leg might stay bent or it can be long on the mat. And then you're bringing your right knee up towards your chest. From here, bring your right arm to the inside of the leg. And you can either hold on to your ankle or you can hold the outside or the inside of your right foot with your right hand. Now gently try to pull the right foot down towards the earth, keeping the sole of your foot parallel to the ceiling. Now if this is feeling a little bit too intense, you can take that bend into your left knee. And there's also an option here just to hold the back of your thigh, just hold your right hamstring. And we're staying here in happy baby, half happy baby for three minutes in total. Really helping to target your psoas muscles. Helps to open up the groin and the hips. 
you also might be feeling this once again through your right hamstring. So tap into your breath. Your breath is going on a journey within your lower body to discover where it's needed most. And then once you find that part, just keep sending your breath in there until it's satisfied. And then move on and find the next part of your body that needs the breath. Taking advantage of all the space that your belly has to expand here. And just enjoying your last few moments in half happy baby. Take three more breaths here. Now when you're ready to release the pose, you can do so, removing your grip from your foot. And now we're bringing our right foot up onto our left thigh, preparing for a reclined twist. The left hand can come to hold the top knee and the right arm reaches up towards the sky. Stack your hips so your right hip is over your left and you can bring your top knee over towards the left side of the mat. Right arm comes back down to the right, perpendicular to the body. Both of our shoulders stay connected to the ground here, so only twist as far as you can keep both shoulders touching your mat. You can look up, or to go a little bit deeper into this twist, you can look over towards your right hand. Targeting our right glute here, but also getting a really nice stretch for your back and your spine, and your neck. Keep exploring your edges for the next three minutes. You might get those invitations to go a little bit deeper into the twist with each exhale. You might experiment a little bit here by straightening out your right leg and that might help you to get a deeper stretch into your right glute if that's what you're craving. If you're feeling any tingling or numbness within your right hand, you can bring it back closer to your body. And 
And again here, relaxing your jaw, softening your face, dropping that little bit deeper into the pose. And we'll take three more breaths. And you can slowly start to bring yourself back to center. There's no rush. Once you're there, you might just rest on your back, whatever way you're called to do so. And again, here, feeling whatever sensation or energy is within your body now. And maybe noticing a big difference within the two sides of your hip. Now we'll repeat that sequence starting with half happy baby on the left side. So left knee comes towards the chest, arm comes to the inside of the leg, and then you're either holding your thigh, your ankle, or the inside or outside of your foot. Left foot is parallel to the ceiling, and you're gently pulling it down towards the earth. Checking in now, making sure we're still with our body, with our breath. Each little part of the left hip and hamstring is getting some attention, all getting some breath. Soften your jaw and take three more breaths. And then we'll gently prepare to come into a reclined twist. Left foot coming onto the right thigh right hand holding the top knee, left arm reaching up, stacking the hips to bring the knee over towards the right, and the left arm finds the floor on the left side. 
Both shoulders stay connected to the floor and you can look up or look towards the left. Feeling that stretch within your left glute and maybe experimenting by straightening out your left leg if that feels good. You can take three more breaths here. And when you're ready, come back to center. Taking a moment for a little rebound here. You might be happy just to stay still, or you might be craving a little bit of release, maybe by bringing your knees towards your chest or doing some windshield wipers again. And then wherever you are, you can spread your legs long on the mat if that feels good. If it's uncomfortable, you can keep your knees bent and just let them rest against each other. Arms can take up lots of space and have your palms facing up. Tuck your chin slightly towards your chest. And we'll rest here in corpse pose for the next minute body and mind completely relaxed.
you can bring back a little bit of movement into your body. If and when you're ready, you can come to sit in a seat. And we will officially end our practice here. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you liked this yin routine. If you did, please leave the video a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I'd really love to practice with you again in the future and it does help to support me here on YouTube. I have lots more videos just like this, lots of yin classes and lots of other hip focused and hamstring focused routines. So I'll leave those linked below if you want to check them out. I'll see you again soon in another practice, but until then, take good care of yourself and goodbye.